Hello, welcome back. This is Pete or Kenshin1913, and we are let's playing Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. And in the last episode, we made it through level deuce. And now we have to fight these gosh darn vultures. And yeah, these vultures are gonna be a huge pain in the patooker. But yeah, if I recall correctly, there we go. We get our K there. And we go up here. K. O. N. G, baby. Yay, ostrich. Yeah. Thank you, Donkey Kong. You're the best. I love you. All right. Oh, you little, you little son of a bee. Oh, shoot, did you see that? Did you see that skill? Oh, this is the one where they, this is the one where they give out all the bananas. Give me the bananas. Ah. All right, I didn't do that well. Woo, yeah. We're only halfway through this. Oh. Oh, no, Donkey Kong, don't leave me. Oh, Diddy Kong, I sh... Yowchies. Gosh. All right, at least we made it halfway, right? Break it. I always thought it was kind of comical, the little noise that that guy made. Woo. I wonder if there was something there, but we won't know. Okay. Boom. Oh, there we go. Now I think this goes here. Yeah! Who remembers their secrets? This guy. I don't even care if I don't get it. Gotta get that in, though. I don't even care about the bananas. I know, you gotta be careful here. Oh, come on, game. Come on. I was right there. Back in the barrel. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, get out of here. Oh. Oh yeah, vulture bowling. Yay, my friend's back. And this I don't even care, I don't think. Whoa, one, two. That. Give me that extra life. Yay. Vulture culture. Taking out them vultures. Now we're on the treetop town. One of my favorite levels in the game. I need something. Yes, you. Come here. Uh, okay. Oh no, I already screwed up. It's okay, Diddy. You don't have to be that mad. 
But yeah, this level was fun. I remember this. I remember me and my bro having shh, tons of time. Good music. Yeah, and don't be afraid to let the let the let the camera come back because let me tell you, it's it's a tricky. Like, because it feels like it's going very fast, doesn't it? And technically it might be. Oh, you son of a bee. I know there's a secret here somewhere. One of them barrels. Boom, baby. The bananas will guide you. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I don't even care about the rest of it. Oh, sh Yeah, you gotta be careful with... Oh, no! Oh. Oh, gosh. Too fast. Too fast. You gotta do this slowly. And carefully take that yeah because those uh, barrels with the white as you can tell auto barrels baby so yeah you gotta be very careful and I already got the secret so I don't need it oh oh look at that lucky Yes. Alright, so one... Oh, I gotta do it while it's, like, going up. Man, I stink. Alright, here we go. Treetop Town. We got it this time, everybody. Yeah, I don't remember what part me and my brother used to get, like, aggravated with. But I know we got aggravated with this place. Or maybe it was a different spot. I don't remember. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Double damn it. Hey, at least he gets the bananas for me. There we go. We got it now. Now, with this, just take your time. Oh, come on. I was hitting back. I was holding back on that jump. You think I could have made the whole thing? Get out of here. Oh, get out of here with that, too. There's my friend. Hello, friend. Oh, oh thank goodness for that. Oh, so close. There we go. Oh no, I did it. I, I knew as soon as I jumped, I did it wrong. I knew it. I was like, oh gosh, damn it. Anyways, uh, I am thinking of something else to yip yap with you people about while I was doing this. And, you know, one thing I took up during the whole pandemic, and it's honestly, not been like something like totally like that uh like i'm doing myself but as most of you know i have a niece her name's stella and she's a young kid you know they're working from home because school you know covid and pandemic and blah 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 anyways one of the things that i was um one of the things that, like, so, since the schools are virtual, like, she hasn't been able to practice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even care about that. So, she would, she, um, you know, she's been, she hasn't been able to practice, like, writing, because everything's on the computer. So, we're, we devised this cool thing to do where 
It's like, yo, we're gonna... Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was dead there. Anyways, we, we figured, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring back something, baby. Pen pals. Yeah, so... A couple of friends from school and some of our friends that she knows from, like, outside of school. We decided to bring back pen pals. Yeah, I don't care about that K. Okay. So, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been doing, you know, in, in solidarity with my niece. I've been writing pen pals to my friends, too. And it's been kind of fun. So, yeah, one, one, one day a week after school... We uh, write a letter to one of our friends, and we send it out. It's a good way to keep the post office, uh, dearie. It's a good way to keep the post office in business too, I guess. Because if some people remember, there were, they were having some woes, and we want to help them out. So yeah. Oh damn it. So yeah, I've been writing letters to my friends. I think there's a whole like site and stuff you can you can go and find uh, like uh, how how to be someone's pen pal, which is kind of interesting. But it's a long lost art, I'm sure. Of. You know, there's not a lot of people doing it nowadays because it's like, you know, why would I write a letter when I can send an email? But sometimes it's kind of nice to to get an email. I mean, uh, a letter. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, stay away from me, B. Ooh. Stay away from me, gosh damn it. We're so close. But yeah, it's been kind of interesting writing letters again. I haven't done it since I was a kid. I mean, I, you know. I, uh... I don't even remember. Like I had, you know, what was interesting is back when I was a kid, we did have pen pals, and we wrote to like. Uh, so in our in our town, we had a, um, a couple elementary schools that were in our area. So we wrote to kids from the other elementary schools in our town, which is kind of cool. I do remember one time we had a field trip to the school where we wrote the pen pals. And I met uh, my pen pal. He was pretty cool. I was like the I was like the funniest kid ever back in the day. Everybody was like, "Man, Pete, you are so damn funny." And I'm like, "Wow." I had everybody laughing. I don't even care. That's bait. Oh, crime in it. Oh. I bet he was here. Or maybe here, I don't know. Just take your time. Hey, hey, there we go. But yeah, it's been pretty cool. Pen pals, you know. All that good stuff. What else have I been doing during quarantine? Let's see. Uh, oof, what else? I've been making bead art. I've been getting some bead art in. Some people <coughs> purchasing bead art, which is cool. I don't, I don't mind people purchasing it. You know, I, I've been busy with that a little bit. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. What else have we been doing? Oh wow, that was all luck. I won't even say that was skill. That was luck, 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 luck. Oh, damn it. Oh, get out of here. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him go. But yeah, what else? I'm trying to think. Of, like, I've been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> catching up on movies. Watch this show called Mr. Robot. Has anyone seen that? That's a fun show. I haven't finished it, but... It's been pretty good so far. All right, give me those bananas. If you bounce on this guy enough, yeah, I've been like catching on movies. Ah, damn it. 
what else, what else do you do during the pandemic? I don't know. Hang out with your loved ones. You know, I should have probably tried to get, like, learn a new skill. You know, if I, and, and here's the thing, and maybe if I had some time, I would have been like, yeah, let me, because I bought, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I bought a theremin a long time ago, maybe like a year ago now at this point, but, um, but, uh, yeah, like, maybe I should have, like, learned, uh, maybe I should have learned how to play the effing theremin, like Dewey Cox said to one of his buddies. He's like, learn how to play the effing theremin. Walk hard. Anyone seen that movie? Good movie. Anyways, uh... Oh, you who honey Kong. Now it's time to save when you got to. Yeah. And let's save it. 33%. Pretty good. Orangutan gang. It's the boss. Ooh. Oh no, is this where... Oh no! Wow. But yeah, if I had, like, free time, like, where I wasn't, like, working and then, you know, taking care of my niece and my family, I would consider, like, trying to learn how to play the theremin. Here's the thing about the theremin, though. is like, I have no musical background whatsoever. So it would be kind of interesting. I have to, like, learn how to read, or learn how to, like, do music. The whole reason why I bought it was because I was like, I'm not musically inclined, but I can wave my arms around. So I'm like, I could probably make some music. And the thing when it was, I was like, I was gonna be, I was like, hey, if I find the sound that I like, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play like m m stuff that I like to hear. Oh, here, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so. Gosh damn it. So you have these orangutan jerks throwing barrels at Donkey Kong. Can I get like a. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Take that. Oh, watch out. Whoa, fast. This guy's not messing around. Oh my gosh. Come on. But yeah, so yeah, that's something. So I've never been musically inclined. And actually, interestingly enough, I'll tell you this story. I might, I might honestly, I might have told it before. But, um... I mean, let's see what Cranky's got to say. Ah, it's sort of taking me back seeing you here. It sort of takes me back. They can't keep this level of graphics up. They can't keep this level of graphics up for much longer. We used to be lucky if we got three shades of gray, let alone any real colors. We used to have two... We used to have to survive with two frame... With a two frame walk. Sometimes our sprites used to change size for no apparent reason. We never had any of this fancy 3D stuff. Oh no, we had to survive on what we had. And what little we did have, we were happy with. Sounds like a bunch of boomers. A crafty crocopus corner has crock of collectibles and coral papers. What? If you roll attack a baddie, your speed will increase when you hit the next one. Yeah, I've seen that. So long, suckers. Try not to hurt yourself out there. Alright, thank you, Cranky. Anyways, Clam City. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, I'll tell you this story. Ooh, I wonder if it's worth it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. I'll tell you this story about when I was a youngin. I think it was like in fifth grade. And like I think I was in I was in fifth grade maybe I was in elementary school, and what ended up happening was they had this like thing where they brought in this music person, like uh, uh, to like see if kids would want to learn like learn how to play an instrument because that's around oh damn man, am I missing the K? Ah oh, I suck. 
Anyways, they came around asking if you want to learn an instrument, right? And they and this was around the time where I think Bill Clinton was running. So basically, uh, they had a guy come in and play saxophone. Like, hey, you want to play saxophone? You'd be like President Clinton or whatever. And I'm like thinking to myself, man, that would be so cool. And I remember my going home to my folks and being like, hey, can I, can I learn how to play an instrument? And they're like, hell no, we don't have enough money for you to get an instrument. And then I was like, what about if we rent it? And they're like, no, it's going to cost too much money. So I never ended up getting an, getting to play an instrument when I was a kid. So I was never like musically inclined in that aspect. I was never one of the cool band people. But interestingly enough, after that, I decided when I got old enough that if I ever had like kids or nieces and nephews, I basically started what I call the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The Uncle Petey. Let's see. The Uncle Petey extracurricular activities fund. So I put away some money for my nieces and nephews. And even my godkids. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is all these sharks doing here? To be able to uh, play. Like they could use the money. I put away like, I think it was like 500 bucks or something. No, not a ton. But, like, I put away some money so that, like, if, uh, anyone ever wanted to play games or whatever, like, maybe they were doing soccer practice or whatever, and, like, the folk, my, my friends or my brother and sisters couldn't afford it for some reason, you know, they would have that so they could go and play if they wanted to. Oh my gosh, I almost got killed. You know who would be great at this level? And guard. Where is he? Swim, swim, swim. But yeah, so I started that. That was kind of cool. So I put away all this money, and pretty much how it works is like, even if for some reason by the time they're out of high school, if they don't, if they didn't like use up all the money, I'm gonna give it to them as like a gift after high school. So, oh my gosh. So it's a nice little thing that I started. Oh, we're done already. Wow, that was not as hard as I rem thought it was going to be, but... All right, Bumblebee Rumble. Oh, we got the boss here. Okay, so... Here comes the bee. Now the bee's PO'd. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you got to wait till the bee's yellow again. Now the bee's going to change attack patterns, maybe? No. No, but he's going to be red for longer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my gosh, there's a fifth one? Stay away from me. Run, 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 run. Yay! Take that, B! Yeah, sorry, B. You know, most bees probably aren't even that, like, that mean or something. I've always heard bees aren't bees aren't really that bad, but you know, because I like honey, and probably that's why I'm a little biased. Anyways, I will stop the video here. In the next episode, we'll continue through Gorilla Glacier. So I've been Kenshin 1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.